Becca, welcome back to the Ark. Well, the new Ark. You have no idea how good it is to finally have some company here. I'm supposed to report to Parker. Yes, Parker. At your service. You're... You're the field coordinator. Sorry, not usually this crazy, I promise. Well, not unpleasantly crazy. Only I've been here on my own for the last two weeks. Just me and the creatures. I've been going through all the mission reports. Fun. No, they're good, really. The best part is I already feel like I know you. And Abby and Connor and Danny. Um, if you want to come through, I'll get you set up. It's me. Can you talk? Have you heard something? Not yet. I assume I'm still being vetted. You sound worried. You shouldn't be. Your background's perfect. Besides, it's possible. I made you sound that little bit more perfect. Yeah, I noticed. Climbing Everest, really. You don't think that's pushing it? You have to be approved by our security. They're all ex-military. Trust me. It's not enough to just impress them. You have to intimidate them. Matt Anderson, the new team leader, or will be. Lester wants you to look this over, see if everything's okay. Lester still chooses the staff. I thought the art was privately owned now. Well, 50-50, government private. And Lester still reports to the minister. Not to this Nobel Prize winning bloke from Prospero. What's his name? Philip Burton. He seems to have to keep both of them happy. Pretty impressive CV. Mm. I mean, all the stuff this guy's done, you'd think he'd be old and crusty, but he's not. He's young. Fit too. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. Is he the only candidate? Got to the bit about Everest. The way some people feel the need to boast about things. Insecure much? Excuse me. No, it's nothing, but if you're going to put the brakes on this guy for being too good, that would be pretty lame. I'm no one's putting the brakes on anyone. I mean, he's ex-military, decorated for heroism, he's an expert in animal behaviour, and he's got countless glowing references. He's perfect. I merely meant whether he was the only candidate. Anyone would think you didn't want your boss to be better than you are. Ah. Oh, I see. You're making fun of me. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Just checking to see if you smiled. And you do. Which means so far, way better company than the mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, um... Something. It's disgusting. Right, thank you. I'll see you then. You've heard? I have. I'm in. You're ready for this. I know. You've worked hard for it, and you're the perfect candidate. Not just for the job, for the mission. Now, whatever happens, don't mess it up. 